Here we will see the geometric construction for bisecting a given angle A, B, C. And for that, like always, we'll be using only two drawing instruments. One is a compass and the other is a straight edge. We start by picking up our compass and anchoring it at the vertex of the angle. Then I'll take some arbitrary radius. Usually, bigger the radius that we take, more accurate uh, is our construction. So I'll just give it some arbitrary value, say 95. And then with the compass and B as the center, with the tip of this pencil, I'll be marking an arc on this arm and another arc on the other arm. So here are the two arcs. And let's say P and Q are the points where the two arcs meet the two arms. Next, we are going to pick up the compass again. And this time we'll be anchoring it at point P. And then with some radius, which could be quite arbitrary. And just to make the point that it could be different from what we had earlier, I'll change the radius. We'll be marking an arc. So with this compass, this P as a center and this tip, I'll be marking a arc here. Say this is that arc. Then move the compass to point Q here. And again, do the same thing with the compass Q as the center and with the tip of this pencil, mark an arc over here. So this is that arc. Now we are done with the compass, so we can fold it and keep it aside. Okay. Then we are going to mark this point P where the two arcs intersected and connect this P point P with the vertex B. And this line PB is the angle bisector we were looking for. So these two parts that the angle is now divided into are equal. Let's show that information with these marks.